Patty Fiedler, multi-time barrel racing champion and NFR qualifier. Today we're going to about, talk about stopping the barrel horse. Stopping the barrel horse is very important in more ways than one. A lot of people think about, well, you're just coming out of the run, you're running for the shoot or for the end of the fence, and you want to make sure you can stop. Yes, that's very important. But you also want to be able to rate your horse and be able to stop them or slow them down coming up to the barrel pattern. When you're going to that first barrel, if you go to check your horse back and he doesn't slow down and stop into that pattern and make that turn, then you're going to overrun it and you're never going to be in the money. So teaching your horse to stop is very important. I like to teach my horse that when I sit down into that saddle, when I sit up, I pick my hands up, and as I pull it, then that's when the horse is going to stop. I teach them that even on, at a walk in the very beginning, then I go into the trot, the long trot, the canter or lope, and then on into whenever I ask him for more speed. That's the first thing any of my horses learn is the stop. If your horse isn't stopping and he was stopping well on one and as you add more and more speed to it and the horse decides he's going to run through the bit, run through your hands and just not listen to all your proper leg cues and your seat cues, then you might need to change your bit. Try some different bits. Don't go to the harshest one you can find. Make sure that you're sitting deep, that you're asking for the stop properly, you're getting your legs and spurs out of their sides and then if they're still not listening, jump up to the next bit. Work with it a little bit, see if you can get a better stop. Again, a stop is very, very important, not only for your safety, your horse's safety, and making it into the money on those barrel runs. That is some tips for the proper stopping of a barrel horse. I'm Patty Fiedler from Pinellas Park, Florida.